Spoiler alert for those of you who haven't seen episode 66 of Dragon Ball Super. A lot of people have been questioning, is Trunks the strongest, I guess you can say, hero Dragon Ball character out of the Goku, Vegeta, all the Z Fighters, not counting Beerus and Whis and all these guys? Because if you look at this entire Future Trunks arc, he has shown a lot of feats. And I am not alone as I am joined today with both Geekdom and Jacksplate as we're going to be having a roundtable discussion on this topic. So... Without wasting any more time, let's get straight into this video. So, Jax, what do you think about Future Trunks? Do you think he's actually the strongest individually out of, I guess you could say, the main heroes? No, I wouldn't say that. I mean, he has been doing some impressive stuff. I mean, he's been fighting Black the longest out of all of them, and he was able to hold off Black and Zamasu while the others went back to the past and get everything set up for God knows how long. And I just think he's been just getting progressive, like, Zenkai boost each time because he gets his ass whooped each time, and it's just been a steady growth in power for him. But I don't think, like, he's on par with, like, Super Saiyan 4, like, I mean, Super Saiyan Blue, Goku and Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta I just think that he's been you know go he's like been just steadily catching up but nowhere near because like the fact that his Super Saiyan 2 is as strong as a Super Saiyan 3 and now he has that new form which is I'm probably guessing that he got from training with Vegeta he like unlocked it or at least with that same rage but I do not think that personally what about you geekdom uh it's okay so I did a video a very thorough breakdown of this called how, why is Trunks so strong in Dragon Ball Super? And it was very similar to what Jax had just said a minute ago. Uh, you know, combined with the fact that he is a human Saiyan hybrid, and we were told early in Dragon Ball Z that human Saiyan hybrids have a higher potential, that the fact that Gohan, Goten, and Kid Trunks have also had a higher potential, not that they're stronger than their fathers, but they had the potential to be stronger. The difference is that Trunks' life went through hell versus the other guys, which they went through some drama, but it was nowhere near as bad as Trunks. And so Trunks is pretty much what Gohan should have been. Sorry, Gohan fans. As far as him being, and don't blame me, it's, it's, it's Toei, but as far as him being the strongest, I think, no, I don't think he has surpassed Goku and Vegeta. I don't think he has, but I do think that he has the potential to surpass them without question. And the reason why I even say that's because he has gotten so far in such a short amount of time from when the arc started to now and he's been able to learn techniques from seeing them on a cell phone and from and learn the Genki Dama spirit bomb without ever seeing it at all. So it's almost like the guy is like I've said I've made jokes about this. Trunks is the Chuck Norris of Dragon Ball Super. He can do anything. When he does push ups, the earth pushes down. He doesn't push up. That's how that's how strong Trunks is. So um, it's one of those things where no, I don't think he surpassed Goku and Vegeta, but without question, this I do believe this. If you give Trunks a year, actually screw that. If you give Trunks about six months of training with Whis, he will surpass. Good points, man. Um, originally when I was doing this video, like I was very conflicted with like stronger or weaker because the thing is, guys, is it's just kind of hard to believe using logic that a guy who's yeah it, it is but like if you think about it like he's pretty much a super saiyan 2 like individually and to think that he is strong enough individually individually to pretty much i guess you could say as a super saiyan 2 fight on par with goku black and zamasu at times you know, obviously, before he did that other transformation, you would think, I mean, this guy, you know, he's incredible. Because you remember when Vegeta was knocked out, you know, by Goku Black, like, Trunks and Goku were pretty much fighting them together. And Trunks was doing pretty well for just being a Super Saiyan 2 level character. And also, if you remember back from, you know, when Goku was sparing with Trunks, you know, obviously, Trunks was only using Super Saiyan 2 in that state, too. So, that means that Trunks is pretty comparable to them in power just by being in a Super Saiyan 2 state. But the thing that really made me change this is when Trunks went into, I'm going to make this an unofficial term because there's no term for it. When he went into his Super Saiyan Blue 2 state, I know it's a shitty name, but I, we don't have a fucking you, name. Some people, yeah, there's no, there's, it could be called the false yeah. Super Saiyan God. There's a million fake I'm, names. I'm just going to call it the Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue 2. I'm just going to call it Super Saiyan Blue 2. I know it's retarded, but I'm just going to call it that for all sakes and purposes. So when he went, Super Saiyan Blue 2. <laughs> yeah. So when he went into that form, it's like 
I looked at how much damage he was doing against Goku Black, and I looked at how much damage he was doing against Zamasu, and you gotta think to yourself, like, the way that, you know, obviously the second time he used it, he showed so much control, and the, the way he was fighting, you would have to think that form would have put him at least on a comparable level to Goku and Vegeta, and I think that when you look back at, you know, obviously Dragon Ball Super later on, one interesting thing that told me that Trunks may not be as strong as Goku and Vegeta, but at least close, is that when Zamasu, you know, was attacking Earth, and Goku and Vegeta were pretty much wasted, and Trunks shoots a Gallic gun, he was holding his own with that Gallic gun for a while until, until Vegeta obviously came in and helped push it back. Now, obviously, Goku by himself pushed it, you know, pushed Zamasu's attack all the way back by himself, which made no sense. But the fact that Goku was able to do that, that means that Trunks, to some degree, if he's not as strong as them, he should be comparable, right? Well, I mean, here's the thing. I'll just, I'll just say this. But based on everything you said, first of all, his SS2 is not anybody else's SS2. It's like SS3 or higher. But look, I'm just going to say this. The major problem with Dragon Ball Super is that the power scale, it was already messed up in the Boo arc. Starting with Resurrection F, the power scale is completely jacked. It makes no sense, and there is no way you can make sense of this power scale. You cannot do it, because literally things get pulled out of people's asses every single week on this show. And as a result of that, and I'm not going to rant about that, but I'm going to say this. There is no logical explanation for any of this, and there probably never will be that makes sense. We don't even know what that form that Trunks used is. We don't know if it actually has God Key or not. There are people saying that because Trunks was able to sense Vegito, and now they're saying Trunks can sense God Key. Like... Again, nothing makes any sense in this damn show. So I just wanted to put that out there that no matter who you are, how smart you are, you can't have it make sense because it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, I completely agree with that statement because it's just like, okay, literally, all right, so you're telling me he had to go, oh, he fought on par with Black for the longest time, even though Black was just fucking with him. And then he's just, oh, um, all of a sudden, I can just go rage mode and then fight on par. Like, we've seen people get rage mode before. Like, freaking Vegeta went rage mode when Trunks died against Cell. And then you thought, oh, shit, did Vegeta just do some damage? No. Or when just got Bulma vicious. got slapped. Exactly. Which Bulma actually, got, uh, actually, when Bulma got slapped was the first example of SS2 surpassing SS3. That was the first time it happened. Exactly, exactly. So it's just one of those things. Like, you see those feats of anger and rage happen, and it's just like, okay, sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. So it's just like, is this the plot? Is this the writers? Like, what the fuck? Like, like what Geekdom just said, the, the power scaling is just all over the fucking place, and it's just ridiculous. Like, some people are saying that, you know, Trunks, since he was able to get the finishing blow on Zamasu Black, was stronger than Vegito, and I'm just like, no, I don't see that at all. Like, the fact that Vegito was punching me, he was literally turning to goo and he like he was fucking my it was a pretty good fight but the fact that vegeto was like laying hands and just like fucking up zamasu and it was just like damaging him so much and then trunks just came along just using his rage boost and having his freaking he-man moment and just stabbing the fucking nigga with his sword it's just I, that, that to me was just it was cool to look at but it was just plot armor it, it makes no fucking sense to be honest and another another point too, real quick, is that people are saying that Trunks surpassed Vegito. I don't believe that's the case. I believe Vegito severely weakened Zamasu during that fight. Yeah, that's one point we have to make is that I don't think Trunks by himself surpassed Vegito. I actually did think it the first time I watched the episode, the second or third time. Sometimes you have to watch these episodes two or three times to understand. It really did come off more like, okay, Vegito hammered the hell out of Zamasu and then Trunks came in to kind of, you know, in other words, like like Dino said on, on Twitter, uh, Zamasu's high HP was uh, his hit points, his health points were lower, so Trunks can go in there and do more damage. That, I mean, that's a really good point, but like, the thing is, to me, though, is like when I'm looking at this, you know, in hindsight, the weird thing is, is that when you go back to when Goku and Vegeta came to the future the second time and they were all fighting against, you know, obviously Zamasu and Goku Black and they were all getting their asses kicked. It's just weird that like right after that, Trunks was strong enough to not only kind of just, you know, pretty much hold them off, but to like significantly i guess you could say make a dent into both characters by themselves and by that point goku and vegeta weren't able to do that so i'm not saying i'm on team trunks is stronger than them 
but it's just kind of weird to think i know the power scaling's off but like trunks did do very well against samasu and goku black by himself and you would probably think to yourself that this is another android situation where if trunks was fighting one of them one-on-one -on -one with that new super saiyan transformation super saiyan blue 2 that he probably would have been able to take them out had they not you know fought like a pair like 17 and 18 did in the anime adaptation what do you guys think to that actually I, you make a very good point after i should even mention that because you've talked about this many times in your videos um real quick the scaling the power scale by it being messed up when the fact that gohan in the future wasn't stronger after all those years of fighting 17 and 18 that in itself is bad scaling but continue Jax. Oh, okay. No, I, I'm completely... Well, what you said is, um, like I mentioned earlier, is just the fact that, okay, he had the, the rage boost. And the fact that rage boost, like, let him go, all right, you guys go off. And, like, we don't know how long he fought those two. Like, because they went back, they complained to Beerus that the timeline was still messed up. My son is still fighting all these people. So we don't know how long, like, the time frame of, like, was it, like, hours, day? Like, the fact he was, like, just fighting these guys off and it was pretty impressive like i like if i was the evil guys i'd be like okay let's you know kill this guy right away but the, i don't think they would play around in the thing of like oh well you know he's this strong now let's play with him see what he can do i think they would like try to kill him right off the bat instead of like fucking around but the fact that he was able to just go no no i'm holding you off with my sword i'm holding you off that this and that for this amount of time showed great stamina and i thought that was just um i will i think it was one of those things where you have to look at oh i have someone to protect i have to protect my i have to protect these people i got this i if i, if I die then they all die so i have to li i think that was just added bonus to him like saying like i really have to keep fighting because if i don't then these people are gonna die so i really have to just go w deep within me get that anime shonen power up and keep going yeah, actually, I was talking to Dino and Kayla about this last night, and she pretty much said the same thing, that everything that Trunks can do now is based purely on sheer will and rage boost, which, again, that's cool. I just feel like it's too much of a storytelling crutch in Super. They overuse that, I feel, on my opinion. Oh, I completely agree. I completely agree. I think that is an overused crush. Like, I mean, it's cool to see. I mean, like, in the hindsight, like, we all love Dragon Ball Z. And we love seeing the fight scenes. We love seeing the epic blast. We love seeing all these energy attacks and all this stuff. And seeing, you know, Trunks use Final Flash or Gallic Gun. It's just like, wow, it's awesome that he finally learned his father's techniques. But then, again, there's a point where logic comes in and you're just like, all right, literally, it makes no sense how that move could affect any of these god-level characters who outclass Majin Buu. And it's just... Uh, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I guess if I were to put just the final touch, you know, the weird thing about that technique is that, like, when Trunks first went Super Saiyan Blue 2, yeah, I know it's a corny-ass name, but when he first went Super Saiyan Blue 2, it seemed like it was about rage, but then when you see him, you know, fighting Goku Black and Zamasu a second time, it seemed like it was something that was completely controlled, like he just flipped it on like a switch like he had mastered it and you know the the way that trunks kind of held his own the second time you know obviously against the and goku black again that just leads me into saying if trunks is not as strong as them because of his lack of control of the technique at this point even if he's not fully master it i definitely think he's close to them in power so with everything said guys let's take a final tally danny you say trunks is stronger than goku and vegeta or weaker no weaker but 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 like i said a little bit more training he will surpass them if he trains at the same degree that they have all their lives by the time that they're old men trunks will be stronger jordan i completely agree with what danny just said like the fact that he's shown this like ability to catch up so fast and hold off these people who just outclass him it's ridiculous like he is what go like he is what gohan could have become if he like kept training and all this jazz and so i completely agree maybe they'll tease us again and have gohan say man i want to be like trunks and then just not <laughs> yeah you know, gabby's gonna throw the furniture in, in her house again so because of this so there you go i think he's in the realm of their power and you know the thing is he really held his own but the thing that i should point out before we close everything out is that when vegeta and goku came back for the you know obviously again vegeta was kicking black's ass and i think when yes guys he was kicking his black ass and the thing is is that i do think at that point 
at that point i definitely think vegeta was stronger than trunks for sure because of how easily he was holding you know he was pushing black away but with everything said guys i'd like to thank you know obviously Jax blade and geek them for coming out for this round table super discussion today and i'm gonna post a link in the description so you guys can check out all of their channels you guys probably already know them by now i do weekly discussions with geek them often and you know i already have a podcast with jordan but yeah so with everything else said please remember to rate comment and subscribe and remember as i always say to have a great day guys and jordan take us out all right, keep calm and booyah on, and don't forget, moment to And remember, as I always say, life is about picking bad movies on Netflix so you can get to the sex quester.